Alrighty guys, how's it going today? So, today I got, uh, well yesterday I got, I've been too damn busy to do anything. But that yesterday, we uh, got the axle for the John Deere cart. And the John Deere, what is it, 16S utility cart. I uh, gotta take these tarps out though. This is a uh, right here is the actual the axle, um, brand newish. Um, I forgot to write down the part number. I don't know. I guess I got it in the book, but uh, I got the receipt anyway. So this is the axle. Um, because the old one is shot, uh, I believe one side of it's actually wore out, so one wheel's got a lot of slop in it. We tore this apart a couple of years ago, but um, I think it's the I think it's that wheel that's worn. Oh, it's not the wheel, but it's that side of the axle. So that axle's shot, and this tire's flat as a board because it's been sitting all winter. I'm actually going to, uh, it looks like it even uh, came off the damn B too. Um, I was going to try to get the air compressor going today and put air in that tire and see where it's leaking. If it's a bead leak or if it's actually, um, it's got a, like a, a hole in it or it could be the valve stems leaking. Something's leaking somewhere, obviously, because uh, the tire does not stay aired up for no more than probably a couple days. Then it's right back to being flat again. So, I'm, I'm debating on, well, I'm not debating, it really depends on where the leak is, if I can find it. If it's the tire, like if I got a nail in it, let's say, or I got a pinhole in it or something, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna order a new tire from John Deere. Um and then my my gas company there can uh, can put it on then. Because the other one doesn't leak. That one's fine. Well it'll probably leak eventually because it'll get fucked up too, just like the rest of them eventually do so what I'm probably going to do we're supposed to get a big snowstorm starting tonight possibly I, they said uh, they said uh, Sunday night let's see I'm gonna put you guys somewhere here um, actually I need to uh, See if I can get this sign out of here. Oh, stupid tripod. I'm gonna get rid of that tripod too and get me a new one. Um, you guys are probably not gonna be able to get a good view on this unless I do something like this. All I gotta do really is just tip it. Now you guys are not gonna never get to see me work on it, but uh, whatever. I don't know if you guys are going to get to see me work on it. Probably not. Well, what I'm going to do anyways is I'm going to time lapse. Time lapse it. Just so I can get done. I'm not going to waste a lot of time yibbing anything about shit you guys don't give a shit about. But yeah, this tire has been flat for quite a while. Looks like it's even coming off the bead too. That's starting to get some slop in it too. But I think it was, yeah. So I'm gonna tear into this. Should have brought some WD-40 so I can spray the axle down so it would slide nicer. I'll probably go get that right now. And uh, I'll just, I'm just gonna see if I can get the tires off and then I don't really wanna 
take all this apart just to change the axle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can slide it, slide it out, and then I'm going to slide in the new axle. You know, without really having a lot of this kind of part on me, I'm going to try that. Um, I'm going to try to get the air compressor going, and then see if I can put air in that tire. This one's probably a little bit low. Yeah, they, well, that tire leaks. I don't know what's up with the, what's up with that, but I, I didn't put any slime or anything in these tires. I'm not doing that anymore because I don't think slime really lasts forever. And I did it to the John Deere more, and those tires actually need to be sent in and, re, and replaced. And I think John Deere, if either John Deere does it or that gas company does it, they're going to charge me something for cleaning the tire, the rim out because it's got that filthy damn shit in it now. I got a cat in here, but, um, so, because I need to be able to haul dirt with this thing this summer, because I didn't haul any dirt last year with it because it had that issue. I did haul some light loads with it. I didn't haul any real heavy with it, but I need this cart to work, so I need to haul more dirt. I'm probably never going to be done hauling dirt around the house, so I want to get that done. Um... But other than that, guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to just go ahead and tear into this, and uh, I will try to slide the axle over, um, put some WD-40 on. I'm going to go get that quick and then soak this down, and then hopefully I can just push it all straight out. Got to get the tires off first, right? So, but you guys will see that in the time lapse. So, yeah, let's uh, get time lapse in here and uh, see if we can get this project done in under an hour. We'll see, but I doubt it. So I want to point this out real quick. This side is the side that was not supposed to be worn out. But if you can look, that side of the shaft is now starting to go out as well. So it's actually a good thing that I'm replacing this axle because that side is shot, beyond shot, and this side is now starting to go out. So... It's actually a good thing. Good thing that I'm actually replacing it because it is it, not so much longer. And that side it would have been the same as this. So, it's actually a good thing we're doing it. So.
ready. I don't have to take too long, I guess. It actually went in uh, a lot nicer than I thought. So this tire, this one here, has got a tiny bit more play in it than this tire does. So I think that rim is probably a little bit messed up. But how, I don't know, because that side was the worst. This side was alright, so. But anyways, um... It went in. It, it, it was nice that the shaft, the old shaft, came out real easy. I think lubing it up helps a little bit. I still think I'm going to have to order a new tire, though. Um, that tire there. That one's not holding there. So, I guess I'll show you the old shaft. To all my new subscribers, I don't especially maybe... Uh, AJ, if you're watching this video, you don't have a damn probably don't have a clue what's going on with this axle on this cart. Of course, this is why I wish I had mechanic gloves, like those rubber ones. That this will never come off now until I use soap, but anyways. This is the shaft that came with the axle when I bought it. You can see See, I'm starting to wear here now. But see how it's it's so thinned out right here. I don't want to touch it, but see where my finger is. See that little this area? Super thinned out. And this side is not quite as bad, but you can see that it is starting to starting to thread out as well. Starting to thin out. It looks like it's getting some grooves in it. It even feels like there's some grooves in it. Well that's off the that's off the rims. I think the rims are shot too. I think what's happening is that the rims are slowly eating away at this, so I got a feeling I'll probably be buying another axle. And well, I I bought this I bought this freaking thing back in '09, and it went out not last year, but the year before. It started acting funny, and then last year I tore into it. Um. To figure out what the issue was. I thought maybe it was the tires or the rims themselves but I just bought a new axle so that's what I mean it's probably normal for these things to wear out especially the more you use them and, and the harder you use them. I think the worst thing I, I use is truly for is hauling dirt because I, I fill this up most of the way. But this trailer is rated for 1,200 pounds. That's how much. That's how much the box can carry, and I suppose what the axles and tires can do. <clears throat> but see what happened is that 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 tire, this tire, when when it would, when it was on this shaft, the old one, it would it would do that. And I figured, well, if I run it too much, it's obviously just going to keep doing what it's doing now. It's going to wreck this. And then it's probably, it may even wreck the rim. And I don't know how much those rims are going to cost. But it, it was starting to do it to this side, too. So you can see that. It was starting to do it to that, too. So that's unfortunate, but... This is the original axle shaft that come with this trailer when I bought it. I bought it from my local John Deere dealer. Um, the ones that I deal with now. I bought this. I bought the cart. And I bought the trimmer there too. I got the trimmer there in the corner. Um, but the garden tractor, the mower, that come from a different John Deere dealer further down the road. So, or further, yeah, further down the road, further away from here. Um, because I was looking at compact utility trackers at the time, and I thought I was, I, I, you know, I could finance one from John Deere or something, and because I, I couldn't do it, my lawyer said that I could, but I found find out I couldn't. <clears throat> so I was there, looked at a couple 3320s. I had there was one cab one, and then there was one without a cab. I was going to get either one. 
um, but they I couldn't finance, so I ended up picking up the X724 there. That that was within price range anyway of what I could afford with cash. So I ended up with the X724. Well, if I just would have looked a little bit closer to home, would have went to my local John Deere dealer, I could have gotten an X748. Same price, same uh, deck size, you know, 62 inch. Um, but back then I didn't really know too much about them. I know a hell of a lot more about them now. You know. So if, if I could take my knowledge back in time with me to back to when I was looking for tractors or more, I would have went with an X748. You know, they're diesel, they're four wheel drive, and that's what I need. <clears throat> uh, mowing yards, you could get away with an X724, it ain't gonna hurt it, but if you plan on doing a lot of snow blowing and a lot of, you know, like I do, I do, I, I plan on doing a lot of snow blowing with mine. But if you wanted to till, do loader work, stuff like that, an X748 would be your best, your best choice. Other than that, then you gotta jump up to the one family size. And that's what they they had that sitting there too when I went and picked up that new axle. They had a couple of new uh, well I, th I think it was a 1026R, and then they had a bigger size up from that. So if yeah if I if I could go back in time and fix my mistakes, I probably would. I mean I don't regret buying the X724. I mean it's been a great mower, but I wanted something with more balls and. The X724 doesn't really have that much for balls. It's got enough. I, it'll have enough to snow blow, I'm sure, but loader work is kind of out of the question for it. It probably could do it, but you'd be fighting it most of the way. But anyways, um, <clears throat> I didn't tell you what you this this axle, as far as I know, will, will only fit. To the 16s that's what this is i think it might fit to a 10p model not 100 sure on that but um your best bet is to check the john Deere website or check your book i started looking in the book first before i went out before i went online and that helped a little bit um this axle right here well the new one but you know you can see how, how big these things are obviously this cost me uh, thirty thirty two dollars from John Deere, so not a not a bad price for just a hunk of metal. Um, but this shaft has lasted quite a long time since I bought it, and this I should get almost another eight years out of this thing, I think. So, I, unfortunately, this one here would be going to the scrap pile because I don't have a use for it anymore because it's junk. So, um, I'll make a, I'll do a little recap of parts I've had to buy for this thing over the years of owning this trailer. I've owned this trailer since 2009, late 2009. And it's currently 2018 now. And I put in, I bought in two parts for this cart. I've bought in zero parts for the John Deere um, for the mower. Um, maintenance doesn't count. You gotta change your oils and engine oils. That doesn't that, that, that doesn't count. That's a totally subject that's a totally different subject. Buying parts like belts, mowers and stuff like that, or more blades, that's what I'm talking about when you actually have to spend money on parts. I bought in zero parts for the John Deere for the mower. And people always down John Deere. Well, they mostly down them, I think, because they're they're too expensive, John Deere. But the way I look at it is that if you pay more for a piece of equipment, you're going to get something well built. And I think John Deere builds good stuff. So, you know, and this kind of proves it. I mean, this is the original shaft to this axle. Now, if you weren't working the shit out of it like I've been working the shit out of mine all these years, you probably wouldn't. You could get maybe 15 years out of that out of that axle, or you could even, could even get a lifetime. I don't know. I actually use this cart now. I actually kind of regret using this cart because I mean, you can still you could rebuild this if you wanted to. You can still get the parts. You know, you could get a whole new 
whole new box and stuff still you know you can still get all that so <clears throat> the thing I don't that that I regret doing was actually using this for some for some real work because um, it's rusty the tailgates bent because the tailor fell on it and obviously then the shaft is shot but just general wear and tear and rust starting to form on it is what I don't like so I kind of regret using actually putting this trailer to work but then again I bought it to actually work it so I didn't I didn't buy it to do light work and believe it or not this this was actually a good choice because this was the biggest cart they made at, at the time I don't know if they make them any bigger than this now but I think the new ones now don't have a steel box anymore it's just, just the plastic ones well I don't care for plastic so even though it's probably lighter and it's stronger but technically for this time frame of these at or these trailers or these carts <clears throat> capacity was less on the plastic ones than it is on the steel one the steel one here can hold 1200 pounds the other ones can only do the next size down I think was 900 pounds and then the next one down under that was 600 pounds so technically I got the biggest cart you could you could get from John Deere at that time so I don't regret buying the, the damn trailer I think it's a great investment I and mean, a lot of people want the cheap things you know Northern Tool sells this very same trailer some people think that this is a you know John Deere bought these trailers from another company and they just put their name on it true it's probably true but you know I just think that John Deere puts their own little twist on these things you know and they kind of up their their strength a little bit and I think I paid this I bought this trailer I paid I still got the price sticker on it but with the tax and everything from John Deere, I think it's I think they had tax on the hundred percent sure. This was a three hundred dollar trailer. From what the, the sticker says two ninety five, but I don't know if that's right or not, but that's what it says. But um what it says two ninety five, that's some Yeah, two ninety five. So and then if they tack on for whatever for fees and stuff, we're talking probably a three hundred dollar trailer. You can get this very same stuff. It was about 120 bucks, and uh, I think they're only rated for about a thousand pounds. But I mean, you're only adding on there 200 pounds with John Deere's. But <clears throat> at least when you buy stuff from a dealer like John Deere, parts are easy to come by. They're easy to get. See, now if I was to have bought in a cart like this on Northern Tool, like a cheap thing, I don't think you could just go run down to your local hardware store and get parts. You would have to call up Northern Tool and tell them what you would need. Um, and then, I, I think that the damn things are made in China, so technically it's a Chinese part. Well, they should, probably should have some in stock at their place, but... I feel like you're wasting time with that because you have to call them, they have to order it, it probably takes them a while, and then you have to go pick it up. <clears throat> John Deere, I called, got a price check, and it was it was well within price, so I had no problem paying it. But John Deere said that they could have this part in within two days, and I was like, well, I don't need it right away. I'm not coming right away, so. Um, you know, I, I told him when I'd be coming to pick, and I was like, well, that's fine, you know, you got plenty of time. So no matter what, even if you do tell them that, hey, I'm not going to be coming for another week, or two weeks yet, they're still going to possibly second day air these parts, you know, so, if that's what they said, they said it would take two days for their parts to get here. And I'll be damned if, uh, it was there when I, when I went there. First they asked for your name and stuff, you know, which is fine, so... 
I don't know what other brands are like. I mean, there's you got Kubota, you know, and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know if Kubota makes stuff like this, but <clears throat> I don't know what their part department is like. I don't know what I, I know what Case IH is a little bit like because I obviously I bought stuff for the 1586, but um. The best thing to do, I'm not telling you guys to all switch over to John Deere and Case IH. I mean, use what you like. <clears throat> but when you when you're gonna buy something, regardless of the brand, it doesn't matter what the damn brand is, see what the you know, how long it takes for parts to get here, if they still make parts for them. You know, make sure that they're a reliable company. You know, and I think John Deere is, is reliable. KZH is pretty reliable as well. I've never had an issue with them. I've only bought a handful of parts from KZH, and I've never had an issue. So I know some people were were dissing on me because I hated on my player stealer. Well, they're not reliable. You know. And he was a true player's dealer, and he wasn't reliable. So, John Deere is reliable. At least, you know, <clears throat> they would probably show up, you know, if I asked them to come and get it, they'd probably show up and do it. And if they wouldn't, they would at least tell me about it and not just leave me hanging like my player's dealer did. They just often left me hanging, so I had to go find a new dealer, so... But anyway, it doesn't really matter anyway. I don't think I'm going to be buying another four-wheeler after this. I think I'm going to switch over to a Ranger. Um, just because they're, I'm running out of room to put shit on Big Red. There's only so much crap you can put on Big Red. So, <clears throat> and Big Red's getting worn out. Big Red will be getting... Uh, he's going to get one hell of an overhaul this year. Every other year I do the... Uh, I do the... Uh, the gearboxes, and of course I do the engine oil every year on that. But I need to uh, <clears throat> I need to change the gear gearbox oils, and I also need to um, possibly this summer. I I'm, if I'm calculating out how to, you know by how many miles I put on it by then, because I'm kind of able to go off from last year. <clears throat> Big Red should be due for a new drive belt this summer sometime. So I'll have to drive. I'll have to buy a drive belt. That's going to be a freaking chore and a half to replace. Um. So <clears throat> I don't know. In a way, I kind of feel like too. I bought more parts for Big Red than I have anything John Deere. Person now. That's not kind of not really fair either because I use Big Red a lot more than I do my John Deere. So, but people always diss Polaris. Well, get what you like, and I'll get what I like. You know, just that simple. You know, I like Polaris and I, and I like John Deere. So, and I like Case IH, but <clears throat> I only own one thing that's IH. So, the one thing I don't like. Is Husqvarna or Husky, whatever you want to freaking call them. I don't, I don't care for that brand one bit. I know some people like their damn chainsaws. I'm sure their chainsaws are reliable, but their tillers are not reliable. Of course, somebody gave me shit about it. It's like, well, that's not commercial grade. You need to get one like a tractor, three-point hitch tractor tiller or whatever. Yeah, well, I, I got what I could afford. That's what's in range. So, that's what's in price range, you know. Whatever. I'm trying to see if I can get a get a new get a new transmission for that piece of shit too and get it back together. But anyways, I'm not gonna take up too much of you guys' time. I probably like I said this video will be sped up quite a bit. So <clears throat> the thing I'm gonna do off camera, um, so I have to grease the 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 bearings. I think you know the the rim. They, they apparently they say there's bearings in there, but I don't see them. So um. I'm just going to grease it up real good. Uh, and then I'm going to try to get my air compressor going and see if I can put some air in that tire. And I'm going to check for leaks. Um, 
see where it's leaking, and then de de determine from there if I have to buy a whole new tire, like, you know, the rubber, or if maybe it just broke off, off well, you could have broke off the beat a little bit, I don't know. Within like a couple of days, it's usually out of air. That tire holds up fine, but this one sucks, and I'm tired of freaking working on them all. I put air in them every couple of days. I got, every time I want to use it, I got to put air in it. <clears throat> so that's what I gotta do. So there you go, guys. Uh, replacing the axle on my uh, John Deere uh, 16S utility cart. This is this is this is this has been long overdue, at least by a year, year and a half. Um, but as you can see, as you can see now. This is the tire that had a lot of slop in it. There's nothing. And then in this one, there's just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, which is probably telling me that rim's probably getting shot, but <clears throat> that's funny because that side doesn't wobble. That was the worst, but eh, whatever. I'll I'll see how much worse that wheel gets. And then if it gets any worse, then I'll probably have to just go ahead. I'm probably just going to give this trailer a freaking overhaul then at this point. Get all new rims. If it's fucked up the axle, I'll just order another whole new axle. And it should be good for a few more years, but... Right now it seems pretty good, so all I'm going to do is grease it up, put some air in that tire, chuck it for leaks, and then... She's, she's ready to go for the spring. I'll be able to haul dirt this year. So, anyways guys, that's pretty late for this video. That's just a, uh, it's probably not really a how-to video, it's just more like, hey, I did it, look, give me a high five. <laughs> but, uh, you guys can say goodbye to the old axle, this thing will be going, she's actually pretty rusty too, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> she's going to go to the scrap bin. Uh, well, actually, the scrap bin, that's probably not even going to fit in there. i got a trash can over there for my metal junky parts. So, I don't think this will fit in there, but if it don't, it don't, but other than that, guys, the John Deere cart's back up and running. I'm going to check that tire, you know, yada, 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 you guys know all that. Uh, that's just what i got to do to it now. <clears throat> other than that, she's ready to roll. She's ready to roll for 2018, so. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to take off, so I guess I uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy. Mm -hmm.